You know, Kenny, when you wonder why we mock uh, the NHL, uh, th- stories like what you just heard in the update are partially why. If you put that in a movie script, I'd say that's just not realistic. Yeah, they're jumping the shark a little bit there. I land have to auction. win an auction for the land to maybe build an arena to keep the team or we're moving to Utah. Right. It's like the NHL version of Major League where yeah, we got to do this and, oh, you know, with the owner and they and they take the uh, the article of clothing off of her. Like, you got to win an auction. Like, I, is I this have, eBay auction? Is this like what if you look like now? I almost want somebody to go full spite and just keep bidding a dollar more. It actually is an eBay auction. They're going to go last second. They're going to put the bid in. <laughs> Buy it now. Right. <laughs> David Hall bought it for a dollar more. I still look the NHL, and I know fans are going to don't get upset. I just the NHL could get rid of six teams, and nobody would notice the difference. You'd have a higher quality product. It would make more sense. You're in markets you shouldn't be in, but we know what it's about. It's about the franchising fee, <laughs> and it's about the TV deals. Look, no, I mean, I'm just being real. No, with no, you. no, you're Hockey right. Hockey used to be in markets that that would die for it, like Quebec City. They don't have a team. Hartford had a team. Well, you can't put a team in Hartford. There's no Fortune 500s there. Like, it, they're not in markets they belong in, and I, I look at Phoenix as one of them. You know what? If the Phoenix Coyotes disappeared, would anyone in, in Arizona notice? No. But, but the funny thing about it is we're not talking about – well, they're going to leave if they don't get the vote, if the people don't come out and say, hey, we'll give you a tax break. Beanie said they're going to leave if the owner doesn't win an auction. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> so, let me do this. The re- it's an amazing story, isn't it? It is. The Red Wings. So, we brought this up to start the show. And I, I want to give you the same presentation, but minus the anger, because I, I'm not—I can't fake it. Uh, last night, it's just—it's this team season in a nutshell. And uh, I'm not dignifying the goal with one second to go. You got shut out. You lost to a Capitals team that had lost six games in a row. This was ga- this game was set up for you to win. And the Wings—it's why I was scared on the air yesterday. It's why I was cringing when Costa did the Costa lock, or when Rieger did his little song and dance. Now the Wings do not control their own destiny. They head to Pittsburgh tomorrow night. The roller coaster, this has been the least enjoyable playoff push I I can ever remember. This is really bad. And every time you trust them, they hurt you. Every time they hurt you, they bounce back. I just, I would love to know where, where the hockey elite is right now. And whether you're ready to just exit stage right. That Yes, there's a chance they could still make it. Last night, that crowd was ready to roll. They were ready to erupt. Costa was in his Red Wings jersey, nothing underneath. A very provocative move. They were ready to go. I wasn't ready for that. I know. The point <laughs> is, this team gave them no reason to erupt. Gave them no reason to participate. And outside of a ridiculously dumb octopus on the ice with six minutes to go down to nothing... That, stop. That That's not what we do. Like, what is it, a rally goose? Cut it out. They were hoping. Yeah, well, it didn't work. So my whole point but is. No, I, but I th- not to cut you off, but good. it showed you how badly the fans were trying to help you win right. this game. Right. Now, I'm not going to go all Acosta this morning. I can't believe the Jumbotron had the audacity to put up the kiss cam down to nothing. Hey, man, he can go fight that battle. I'm just I would like to know where you guys are at. That's a crippling loss. It's the biggest regular season game we've had here. If you count the Pistons, Knicks, and 19, your business, half the town was rooting against them. For the Wings, it's the biggest game of the Iserman era. And now you're sitting here, and I can't believe the amount of people doing moral victories, including one person we work with. I am um, very disappointed at what I'm looking at right now. I have been handed a piece of paper by David Hatchetman Hull, and um, I'm just going to read this to you. This is very disappointing news. Kenny Cott, at Kenny Cott with two T's on X. This is our, quote, intelligent fan base. As Kenny replied to someone named P at how do I use this? 
They didn't outplay them the only place that matters on the scoreboard. Kenny was very upset with that. The responses to this by Kenny's public. K at, I can't, I'm not reading all these identification tag things on X. Wojo levels of water carrying from you tonight, Kenneth. <laughs> to which, to which, to which Kenneth Cott, at Kenny Cott with two T's on X. You know, it is possible to play well and lose, right? <laughs> the response, no, I hadn't realized that. Thanks for educating me. But then Kenny doubled down on the smarm and defense of his team. No. No problem. Thumbs up picture. <laughs> Someone wrote to Kenny, Charlie Lindgren saved 2.66 goals above expected for the Caps per evolving hockey. That's another quality start and stolen win. Kenny's response, goalied. I don't know what that means. You can't turn goalie into a verb. It has been. It means you got goalied. There's nothing better you can do. You just got goalied. I'm going to need to kill the music, and we need to have a conversation. Now, Kenny, I was unaware of your activities on social because i don't have them <clears throat> i opened uh, this it, it was something because all of a sudden you're like whoa, whoa hey now kenny i opened Let me this show chips. saying the one thing i don't want to hear is golly gee they played hard kenny sat here said nothing i go through an entire monologue kenny says nothing no protest to anything i say and we discover this, this discreet, wait, there's more? David, there's more? There's more! Oh, God. Kenneth Cott, cue the music. Kenneth Cott, takeaways. Complete performance by the Wings up until the goals. Defensively <laughs> responsible. Wait, 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 is that like... So other than that, Mrs. Lincoln, how was the play? Right. <laughs> Great meal, except for the diarrhea part. <laughs> Defensively responsible. Lots of bodies in the lanes. Ovi is still a killer. I, I, what, Kenny? Okay. Okay. Then we're going to get into it here. <sighs> Kenny responding to people with, stop it. They didn't no show, LOL. So how many goals did they score on a team that lost their last six games, Kenny? No shows look like many of the games in the prior streak. They outplayed the Caps for a majority of the game. There's a difference. K Kenny, why? Why this battle, Kenny? Nothing I said there is wrong. Kenny. It's all correct. Kenny, you lost the game. I'm aware of that, but Mike, what you said in, the, in your opening monologue about the Wings, you didn't say they played badly. You didn't say they played no. like they played in Arizona. No. And that's what these people are saying. They no-showed, which is abjectly incorrect. These people are your people. They're not my people. I don't associate Kenny. with those people. They're Kenny. following you. Oh, my goodness. What, what do they have in common last night's game and the Arizona losses? Lost the game. It's got to be the same thing, right? Because they lost. It's a loss. Thank you, Rico, for the... Just just you know what? You're right. Thanks, John. <laughs> no, say what you want to say, Kenny. Yeah, yeah, just say it how it is. You a highly educated hockey professor. You know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, Kenny. Losses. <laughs> so basically, wow. There's different levels of losing. Kenny, what do you have against minority <laughs> hockey fans? <laughs> Two, four, eight. <laughs> Rico, this is your mess to clean up. <laughs> I mean, I want to talk about Kenny, the Red I'll, Wings. I'll, I'll go back to the corner. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll power I just, it down. I, I didn't. How come it always turns into this? I didn't know it was levels of losing. I'm just saying they didn't play poorly. I'm just responding to people who said they did. So That's here's, all I'm saying. But here's my point. Your point's irrelevant. They lost. I don't disagree with that, but don't say they no-showed. But why respond? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. So, David, 
I say they lose, and he just goes off. Mike says, what's the yep. point, and they lose? You know lose? why. You know why. Yep. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm not even going to dignify that with a response. <laughs> Mike says it, and it's okay. <laughs> Mike wasn't trying to equate wins. You know what? It doesn't matter. I'm done. I quit. I'm done with this. 248 539 9797. I need the Kenny bots to call the program. If you're a Red Wings fan, do you find Kenny's behavior offensive? Why does anyone need to go beyond winner or loser? In the biggest game of the season, the Red Wings, for all intents and purposes, got shut out. I don't want to hear about it. I don't need to hear they tried harder. Oh, they, they played with grit. Loser. They lost, and they do what they've done to us is that just when we're ready to believe, mama's with the postman. <laughs> it's just not right. <laughs> now, Rico, I'd like to tell you, I'm, I'm proud to have you do this next read. Unlike Kenny, who'd rather you just be quiet.